the claim by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Boss Mustafa, that he is not aware of the level of rot in the Nigerian health sector until the outbreak of the coronavirus has got Nigerians talking. <clears throat> are you surprised? You know, are you surprised? Of course, there is, it's not going to be aware because they don't stay in the country. I'm sure he was not even born in this country because they've been going abroad for their treatment. They don't care. You can imagine somebody that rose to the level of a SGF. I don't know whether he was, you know, that's why I asked whether he was not born in this country, that he, he does not know or is not aware that it, the, the rot in the S sector in this country, if not because of this coronavirus. Yes, now it has exposed them. You can imagine somebody at that level does not know. Then who have you been governing? Who are you guys been leading? Who have you been leading? Of course, they will tell you that uh, the poverty in the land, you know, they don't, they don't see it. They don't see it that way. That is just the what. That is just the way it is. They don't see it the way you and I see it. They don't see it that way. The SGF, who is the leader of the presidential tax force on COVID-19 in a Chinese television broadcast yesterday, said he never knew that the nation's health care was in a total shambles until his appointment into the COVID-19 task force team. This comment, however, incurred the wrath of Nigerians who took to social media to voice their displeasure at the SGF's revelation. These are some of the comments from Nigerians on the issue. Lega Tycoon on Twitter said, Boss Mustafa said he had no idea the rust in the earth sector until this corona thing. As per the don't cuckoo use Nigeria hospital, of course. Zadi Ajala as a uncle underscore Ajala said, Boss Mustafa said he had no idea the rust in the health sector is so bad until this coronavirus pandemic issue. Imagine his shock. When all they do is to go abroad for treatment, even if it is ordinary here infection, don't be surprised by tomorrow night we say, oh, he was he was taken out of context, he was misquoted. You know, that was not what he meant. Of course, he has said it. Even if God didn't do anything, he must punish bad leaders in Nigeria. Abolaji Awoye had a question for the SGF and he goes to us, Bos Mustafa SGF. I didn't know that Nigeria's health system has deteriorated to the level it is now. Me, so what have you been doing in government since 2015? Ataya, Ataya, big question. As Ben Vista said in the open confession of SGF boss Mustafa that he did not know the Nigeria's health infrastructure is in such a deplorable state until he was appointed to head the COVID-19 presidential tax force is an QED that all Nigerian politicians are medical tourists from time immemorial. At Iron Fair of God said, if SGF boss Mustafa can claim he didn't know that Nigeria's health sector is in such a deplorable state on the corona issue, and these are the kind of people that surround the president and advise him, advise him, can we now see that Nigeria is finished? You know, that is to tell even the president does not know. He does not know. He doesn't even know what is happening. Is it not? Even somebody who everybody thinks that at least this man is, you know, he should know what he's, he's doing. Because he's still young. He should know what he's, still, he's doing. He should know what is happening. He does not even know. So how much more the president? Hey, my goodness. How much more the president if he does not know? That means, that is why Buari does not even respond to anything. They don't even go out. They don't even allow him to, you know, for people to, to even interview him. How will he know? They will be feeding him with all manner of uh, wrong things because himself is not whether he's let me say he's not capable because if you are capable, nobody of you are competent, nobody will come and be telling you cock and boo stories. If the president is really I don't just even know the word to use. If the president is really sincere, let me just put it that way. That that's the best way I can really put it so that everything will be okay. If really is sincere. He will go out of his will. He will go out to go and confirm something. To go and confirm this, what people have been telling you. You don't even need to stress yourself. Everybody, even those who are in diaspora, just take your phone. You know what is happening in the country. You will see. By the time you take 10 cases together, you'll be able to find out the truth. They will come and tell you. Because they know the kind of, uh, the kind of uh, uh, person the president is himself. So they can tell him all, all manner of stories. And I'm sure the wife, too, maybe he mo she must have said a lot of things. And the man is not even getting it. 
The man is not even comprehending what he, she's saying. That's why, maybe that's why, I'm just thinking, maybe that's why she's always coming out to the public that, I beg, oh, hmm, you people should just, I'm just talking my own, I'm saying my own, so that nobody will come and hold her responsible. Of course, even with that, people are saying like, you know, this woman's behavior and the way she has been coming out is not really clear to Nigerians. But that being said, but maybe this is one of the reasons the woman has always been coming out in the, to the public to come and, you know, air her opinion. If SGF is saying this kind of a thing, ah, <laughs> just like somebody said, that means the country is finished. The country is finished. Because most of them, they get this appointment because of a, a sentiment, nepotism, tribalism. That is how they get it. That is to tell you they are not even competent for the job. Even anybody, a, a, a common Nigeria, a common a ordinary Nigeria on the street, we not even we cannot even say he does not know or she does not know how what has been happening in this country. Somebody who is not holding any position, we don't know not to talk of this kind of person. And somebody is asking, since 2015, then what have you guys been doing? What have you guys been doing? Hmm. Newton Ikire said, but Mustafa didn't know. State House Hospital was nothing to write home about because when he needs Panado, he flies to London. Shame on all, on you all. Mayowa Olagunju said, this virus has exposed our politicians. But Mustafa even acknowledged that he does not have idea that our healthcare system is in such decay, which means they don't care about us. Before we call, before we call, he care, care about who? I think people are beginning to see. Care about who? That's why they will not they won't tell you that uh, they will believe or they will even tell you that uh, this issue of uh, SME because me I'm always talking about that. Because as we speak, you might be thinking, ah, oh, maybe people are making all these things up. But believe you me that people are mourning. People are mourning as a result of what these SME have done to their families. Some people have become orphans, some have become widows, some have become widowers, some have lost everything they've ever worked for in their life. Believe you me, all of those things are going on. They will still come and tell you that they never knew. They will think that people are even just making them up because they will think, oh, people don't just appreciate them. For somebody to come on national TV to, to vomit this kind of a thing out. Ah, like so, what somebody said, that means the country is finished. Someone says, I need just one thing from National Assembly, a law that forbids any political office holder, either former or currently serving, from traveling abroad to seek for medication the covid 19 did not just have negative effects but also has positive effects as it has made the elites to start looking inward on way to revamp the sector nigeria have doctors but no political will to grade the sector to upgrade the sector if the law is finally put in enforcement nigeria a sector will compete with the rest of the world Okay, this person is calling on the National Assembly. Who are the National Assembly? Who are the people there? Are they not based on the same feather? Who are the people there? <laughs> it is it's really funny. Someone says, you know they will never make a law that will affect them. They won't now. Says who? They won't. Who are the people? Are they not the same? Someone says, because you always travel to US and London for treatment. Shame. Mr. Boss, you did not surprise me. This government never know anything. If people are suffering, they don't know. If Boko key millions, they don't know. Your government never take responsibility for anything. When will this nation have leaders? Good leaders. We've been having leaders. We are talking of good leaders. When the rich people are flying abroad for treatment, this is the head that lives for the poor who cannot afford abroad. Now, abroad hospitals are crowded with coronavirus patients. So politicians, we have to use our own health facilities and see how far. This has come now to draw and implement a new health policy that is that we cater for all. Michael Jassy said in one of his songs, they don't care about us. Of course, they don't care about you. But you see some people will come and defend what this man is saying. Uh, this is the level of, the, of this clueless government. Since all their believe in abroad, they believe in abroad treatment. Now that the pandemic is all over the world, they can't travel again. God will judge all of them. And that is it. And that is just it. They are playing to the gallery. Those who will be clapping for them. Unfortunately, people who do not even have a, have a better understanding, they are the ones that will still come back and vote for this kind of people. And that is where the problem lies from time to time. Those in government will not know the deteriorating 
state of our education and health sectors because their children school abroad with taxpayers' money. They go abroad with their families for medical treatments with taxpayers' money. The monies which uh, we uh, which which go. I don't know what this person is saying. The only solution for this matter is when the youth we stand up for their rights and exactly so that means all the sectors all the, everything that we've been complaining about in this country they don't know they were talking about a you are talking about education uh sector they don't know like somebody said like we all know they take their children abroad for schooling they will never know they will never know they don't have the interest of the masses at heart because of the way the old thing has come some people somebody or some people are even saying that this corona is a blessing in these guys that people might not know but see now See their, see, see their life on our side. You see their life? So guys, let us hear your own take. Whether you believe what this man has said, leave your comment below and let's have your take. Thank